All right, everybody. So we got Padre Dodgers later tonight, but there's some MLS news or report that came out today from Lizzie Bacchanaro. Hopefully I pronounced her name right. She said on Twitter earlier today, exclusive sources confirm a new MLS expansion franchise to be announced in coming weeks with a tentative date in mid-May. So expecting a MLS expansion franchise to be announced. What city? Sometime in mid-May, there's already a date there scheduled. I don't think this is a surprise. Um, if you listen to the Darren Smith show, I want to give him credit because he has been talking about MLS to San Diego for, I feel like, more than weeks now. And this has been something that we've all, at least soccer fans, have been paying attention to. Like, when is this going to happen? What's the timetable? Landon Donovan went on Darren's show yesterday and was pretty much saying how he's thinking, seeing that this is going in the right direction. So that was encouraging. So I'm not surprised to see this report out there. Uh, I guess this is a reputable source, over 5,000 followers. You uh, Looks like an editor covering soccer for 90-minute football. I haven't heard of that, but says exclusive. It looks pretty reputable. Um, and again, my thoughts on this kind of go back to the San Diego loyal, like San Diego loyal. I know they're a lower division team, but they're already here. And I want those employees, those people that are invested in that club to be able to have an opportunity with this new MLS team. If this does happen and it looks like it will, when this is announced, hopefully it's here in the month of May. Because there is some chatter on social media about, is it Las Vegas? Is it Sacramento? Is it San Diego? I don't think we're there right now. I think it's, no, it's San Diego. We're just waiting on when is it going to be announced and just what what is going to happen here? What is the name going to be? like? Because I think it's just, it's going to happen. We're just waiting on the timing of this. And I think this is a great thing for the city of San Diego. It's going to bring more interest, obviously, to another San Diego sport. Uh, I think there's going to be more interest in this San Diego MLS team, obviously, again, assuming that this happens, than the interest that is in the Loyal. I don't think it's really anything against the Loyal. I think it's just some fans that maybe aren't you know, paying attention to the Loyal a lot or haven't watched any of their games or been to any of their games. They probably didn't have a whole lot of interest because they saw that, well, this isn't an MLS team, right? This is a lower division team. I don't know anyone on this team. I Sure, Landon Donovan was coaching the team when it started, but I'm not going to go see the coach, right? Uh, so I think that's probably some thoughts from some San Diego sports fans that haven't, like, attached to the loyal. Um, hopeful, I mean, look, the best thing, what I hope happens here is that this expansion team is announced this month in mid-May, just like some people are saying. It's a San Diego club. And the owner, he ends up calling it the San Diego Loyal. He just purchases the San Diego Loyal, and the Loyal get out of the USL, They and they end up being the MLS team. Just purchase the Loyal, and everyone that's with Loyal, they can have an opportunity to work with this new MLS club expansion franchise. Uh, but I, I just don't really see that happening right now. It doesn't seem like it will, and that's disappointing. Um, because there are a lot of people that put a lot of work into this loyal team just to have it fold because some billionaire came in and got a MLS team here, you know, uh, that, that would suck. But I, I I'm, if this, if this happens, an MLS team comes to San Diego, I'm going to be super happy about it. I'm going to support the MLS team, obviously. Uh, and I'll be talking about that MLS team, but. I'll definitely be interested in seeing what happens with the loyal and what do the people that work for the loyal do? What happens with that? Because like I've said previously, I think they deserve a shot, but that is the latest report again from Lizzie Bacciarano, I think is her name. Uh, again, today exclusive sources confirm a new MLS expansion franchise to be announced in the coming weeks with a tentative date in mid May. And again, if that's, it's not like, is it Las Vegas? Is it Sacramento? 
a lot of things would have to happen for Las Vegas to get it. San Diego already has everything pretty much in place. I, it feels like they're just hammering out the details. That's really what it is. So it's exciting, and we're just waiting for the announcement and then waiting to see what happens after that with the local club that is here and when everything gets started. I would think the play would get started in 2025, but it's coming at the right time with the Men's World Cup coming up. Um, obviously, the men's just happened, but coming up years down the road, it's going to be, I believe, in America. So it's going to create interest, and the MLS will ha be successful here in San Diego if it comes. Like the NWSL with the San Diego Wave, that is already being successful. That's off to an amazing start, and I'm there at every game. So I, I can speak to that. It is off to a great start. The MLS, I think there will be just as much support, if not more. Uh, just because I think sometimes the, the San Diego sports fan, maybe they're going to be more interested in the MLS team because they're going to be like, well, I know the MLS. They don't really know NWSL. But someone like me, I'm all in on the San Diego wave. But maybe that's not everyone. But it's exciting news. And hopefully this happens again, like I've said a couple times now here. Hopefully this happens in mid-May or sometime in May. And we can stop with the, the waiting game that is happening. 